Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the bearing retainer ring from your hub bearing. Let's go ahead and get started. What we're dealing with here, as you can see that, we have a bearing retainer ring. This is not your typical snap ring that some cars have to where you can use the snap ring pliers to go ahead and compress that and pull it out. This one here is just basically, as you can see it, it's just a very tight retainer. It has no point of contact where we can connect it and pull it out. So I'm going to show you how to remove this fairly simple. These can be kind of frustrating if you're not sure how to do it. The only items that you'll need to complete this is you'll need a hammer, you'll need a very small flathead screwdriver, you'll need a regular size flathead screwdriver, and you'll need some needle nose pliers. That's all you're going to need in order to be able to pull this off. It also doesn't hurt to hit that, that retainer with a little bit of some penetrating oil just to kind of let it sink in onto that ring. A lot of times if it's been on there a while you could have some rust build up. It could be really grimy and tight in there. So let it soak a little bit with some penetrating grease or penetrating oil. Spray it on there and then we'll go ahead and start prying it out. Using the small flathead screwdriver we're going to go ahead and place it on an angle right here at the opening of the retainer ring. And we're going to go ahead and bang it and kind of get it lodged behind that ring. You can see it's starting to pull the ring away. You can see there we're getting here behind it, popping that out. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the larger flathead screwdriver. Put it right here on this side here, pull that out, and we should be able to lift that up. Get the needle nose pliers now. Grab onto that. Lift that up like this. Grab that. You don't want it to pop out on you. So come out slowly. There we go. Pop that out nice and easy. No hassle. And then now you've, if you're trying to extract your bearing or whatever you're trying to do, press it out. Now you're clear and ready to go. So that was it. All right, well that pretty much wraps up this video on how to remove the bearing retainer ring if it's not a typical snap ring that's easy to remove with the pliers. I hope this video helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.